What is going on Adventure Nation? Today is a work day. We're gonna be just kind of hanging out here in the in the campground. This is the motorhome experiment. There are some days on the road where we're not just out having fun and adventuring around. Some days are work days. And if you're gonna try and get some work done, it might as well be in an environment like this. Again, the view down here into the bay is absolutely amazing. So this would be a really good selling point for solar. You can see we're down here in an area that does not have services and there's a bunch of seasonal campers behind us so we didn't want to fire up the generators this morning to try and charge up our devices and things so decided to come up to this little kind of cabin area here i don't know what this is what would you call this area a shed. we're working in the shed today but this is a, a special shed the view from here is absolutely insane other than kevin of course but if you just don't picture kevin out of there and then the view then uh, then it's really good he can't hear me right now so it's okay to make fun of him laura and them is already here they've already got their their workstation set up and they're going to share their space with me and this is going to be one of those days where we just get a little work done so not going to have much going on so you guys just can hang out or go watch some other tv show <laughs> been just hanging out here at the campground today. Lori won't let me do any shooting because she hasn't got her hair and makeup done. Well, then am I allowed to shoot you? I thought it was a day off. Oh, she just thought it was a day off. She's not worried about her hair and makeup. She just thought we weren't supposed to film today. You guys have seen me without makeup. I'm <laughs> well, it is a day off. We just been work day. You guys saw earlier we were filming that we were working up there in the in the work shed. And then uh, I just set the drone up. This campground is really small. It's only 40 sites. And of the 40 sites, I think only 30 of them have services. And then the other 10 here are unserviced, like no water electric. And they don't all have water electric sewer. Some of them are just water electric. But this little peninsula that this place is on is absolutely spectacular. And once I got Rover up in the air, I could see that that was surrounded by water on most sides, obviously, hence the name Peninsula. And then just spectacular scenery all around the place. Very, very cool. And now we're just gonna head into town and gonna go check out one of the, it's a food co-op, which I guess is just a grocery store, kind of, sort of. But we're waiting for the Millers. I'm gonna go rustle them up. No. Oh, Kevin's filling his face, so. Always Way eating. Miller. You ready to go? I can't wait to see you. Always eating. Oh, Lori just. I've taken over Lorena's job on the videos. Lori just see? came over. That's, no, that's true. <laughs> what happened? I'm taking oh, over Lorena's job. Lori used to always be caught caught with food in her mouth. Yeah. Lori just came over and gave me gum, so I guess she's saying something. She's basically telling me that my breath is nasty and I need to have gum. I did just have coffee. Coffee's delicious smelling. Oh my god, it's so Coffee. good. Coffee breath is not. So we're gonna roll into what's this place called? Nova Scotia. <laughs> it is Cabot Trail Food Market Co op okay. at Neal's Harbor. Alright. <clears throat> we're gonna find out in a second that Neal's Harbor is on Newfoundland and that it's not anywhere near here. Lori was just asking me if I saw the sign for the beach the other day when we pulled in. I, I don't know why I didn't see it. It's so obvious right there on the little tiny birch tree, that little tiny sign. It's obvious. <laughs> it's obvious. Okay, this is amazing. We are in Neal Harbor where we're gonna go find the grocery store. This is the Neal Harbor Lighthouse, but it's also an ice cream parlor. That's crazy. Oh, and I guess there's a guy here named Cliff, 
and he's high. I don't know. And supposedly dangerous. That's a stretch. Yeah, this isn't amazing here at all. Okay, so here's Neil Harbor. This is Neil Harbor Lighthouse ice cream. Now, if they have ice cream for Laura and Kevin here, this will be amazing. Yeah, I would say the answer to that is absolutely no. What is that? Vegan ice cream. Yeah. I, I, they're going to not even know what that is. What do you mean ice cream made without dairy? Orange pineapple. Okay, we got our ice cream. I got moon mist. It's basically bubble gum ice cream. And Lori got maple nut. Maple nut. Boring. Pretty good. We're in Canada. Everybody oh, knows. she's in Canada, so she thought maple syrup, maple nut ice cream would be good. And then, what did you get? Root beer slushy. Yeah, biggest straw ever. The big. <laughs> you don't want to film. <laughs> Let's film Kevin drinking out of the biggest straw ever. That will be awesome. <laughs> Look at the the scenery here. It's what just insane. What are puffins? Where are puffins? Are there? No way. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, this isn't very pretty at all. This is known as White Point. Holy smokes, I do not believe what I am seeing. Lorena is walking in the water. Perfect for a beach day. Perfect beach day? Usually a beach day you're not carrying an umbrella for the rain, it's for the sun. How is that water? No, your feet aren't cramping up? Forming icicles? This is crazy. We are in a place called White Point, and White Point is right around the corner from Neal's Harbor and our campground at Hideaway Campground. And we were told that we should check this place out by a lady on the ferry on the way over to Martha's Vineyard out at Cape Cod so glad we made this stop it's a beautiful little community obviously some kind of a fishing community but just spectacular Lori's back from her beach day and how was the beach it was nice yeah soft sand warm water not like extremely warm like Caribbean warm but still pretty warm it was not freezing cold wow so maybe the other beach that everyone's talking about, Sand Beach, might be nice. not so bad tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised you didn't check it out. Tomorrow, it out. I'm too much of a wussy because I figured the water was freezing cold. Tomorrow is supposed to be a nice day and we are maybe going to go either do some hiking, do a beach day or something like that here. A beach day for me is usually about 15, 20 minutes. And now we've lost the Millers. I think they've yeah, been the taken by the sea. Oh no, they're in the car already. Okay, Kevin is about to get us in a shitload of trouble because there's this does not look like a road. Dude, Google doesn't lie. Google does lie. Does this not look like somebody's driveway? I know that is, and I know that is, but this here looks like somebody's driveway. Or four-wheel drive only, or do not go here. Well, maybe we'll meet some new or people. Or maybe we'll meet some new people. It might be at the end of a muzzle of a gun, but... Oh yeah, I don't think you're gonna make it. Yeah, I somehow am not thinking that this is gonna end well if we continue going up there. 
But Kevin says that this is White Point Road. <laughs> so you, we're going to keep going. No, my God. Got spare tires. We're not going to go that way. That's, yeah. This is this is the end of this one. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Didn't y'all enjoy Google that? Google doesn't lie. <laughs> Google lied to you. This is my favorite thing that we've done so far. <laughs> This is the drive of shame back into town. As people are saying, we knew you couldn't go that way. They're all gonna be out in the street laughing at us. Laughing, pointing, staring. We don't know exactly where this is. We know we're down from the campground. It looks like it used to be a ramp to launch boats, but it is no longer that. But it is very picturesque. Oh wow, the artwork on the rock. Well, they're claiming this is a petroglyph. There's another one over here. The water isn't that bad. Oh. All right, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna try it. We're gonna test it out here. I'm probably gonna fall on my ass, but oh, that is not good. It's not horrible, but there is no way that you would swim in here. See, this is where I just picture the, the, the movie where the great white just comes up here and then grabs a hold of me and drags me out there. Look at this. This is craziness. So that's supposed to be a real petroglyph or it's did you read that somewhere, or? Yeah, on that, that wooden sign there, it's a petroglyph, and then it has an arrow pointing down to the Oh, okay. So there's a sign up here that says petroglyph, like that is a petroglyph, but that really looks like it was done by a professional artist. That wasn't carved by a Native American, or sorry, we're not in America, uh, a First Nations person. Uh, here in Canada, they're called First Nations. But that is not a First Nations yeah, but you got this here. drawing. This one here, a little bit more so. It's going to be very, very hard to see. That that could actually be a petroglyph. This thing here, this is done by a professional artist. Same with all these. <laughs> and, yeah, this one up top here, Over here, that's a professional artist that's done that. That is not a petroglyph. Well, I guess it technically is still a petroglyph. Another one over here. And then, yeah, there's ones that have been painted in with silver paint. Definitely not petroglyphs. This up here, not a petroglyph. And I would assume that this colorful uh, lobster over here is also not a petroglyph, although it's very cool. Okay, we're on this horrible little road that's basically a single lane, single lane road. And uh, Kevin and Laura bailed out at a graveyard. So now we're going out into the creepy woods to see a graveyard. Late 1800s, early 1900s graves. Yeah, let's go play out in the woods where we don't know anybody and might not find our way back in the <laughs> private yeah, graveyard. That says Dahmer. So. Dahmer? Okay, I'm going back to the car now. <laughs> <laughs> nice as i was editing i realized that if i ran this video into the next couple days it was going to run really long so this is where we're going to end this one thanks for hanging out with us on our first day in cape breton actually i guess it was kind of our second day or third day in cape breton uh, we've been hanging out and doing some work and things like that trying to catch up a little bit so not sure which day exactly that was, but we appreciate you watching. If this is your first time here, it would be awesome if you subscribe to the channel, stay up to date on all of our travels. It'd be equally as cool if you liked the video and we'll see you again soon in another one. Take care gang. Bye now.